Hi, my name's Dave, I'm also known as Infected Flinch, and um, yeah, I've done quite a few videos today. Um, some of them you haven't seen because I'm not going to show them you. Uh, but um, this is a reply, and I'm just going to move you so you can see me. There we go. Spot on. Oh, the uh, video behind me, the game rather, looks pretty good actually, uh, is video uh, the, the Road Trip Adventure. It looks pretty decent actually. I was expecting it to be complete horseshit. And you shouldn't really judge a book by its cover, should you? Because that cover is absolutely horrific. Looks pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, I am doing a video response to Yo, Big G from SC. What up? Yeah, so Big G from South Africa. Um, yeah, he's put a cool... I've got the actual questions down here, just in case you're wondering why I'm looking down. He's asked three questions, and I thought it was pretty cool, and I thought I'd answer them. So, question number one. Which retro computer slash console bought new back in the day do you regret not keeping? That's the thing. I've actually gone back and bought everything that I had. So, I don't have anything I'm missing anymore. For the longest time, it was actually um, the Game Gear. And I've got that now. Um, but yeah, I love the Game Gear and I missed out on that. Everything else, I've kept. I am such a hoarder. It's unreal. I don't let things go. I keep them like it's going out of fashion. We did used to have a BBC Micro. We got rid of that. Oh! Most sensible one of all, and I've forgotten, the Atari ST. I don't have that anymore. No, I'm telling a complete set of bollocks. It was the Atari ST. Yeah, I don't have that anymore, and I want it back. So if anyone's got one, let me know. <laughs> no, that is actually it. That's, that's, that's my holy grail. That's the one I'm going to get next. Yeah, there you go. The Atari ST. I used to have that, played it like crazy, absolutely crazy, and I don't have it anymore, which is really sad. My mum and dad got rid. So, sad face. Um, which game did you see or play that resulted you... Oh, start again. What game did you see or play that resulted in you actually buying that computer slash console? I'll tell you exactly what it was. Uh, PS3... The reason why I bought that was Metal Gear Solid 4. It was almost obsessive. As soon as that came out, I had to get the PS3. It's pretty much an entire film. It's not even a game that, that you know, Metal Gear Solid 4. But I had to have it. And I had to find out how he was going to tie everything up. It seems a bit of a mute point now because he's added more shit to it than probably necessary. But, you know, at the time, I had to have Metal Gear Solid 4. It was a bit insane. I had to have it. So yeah, PS3, that was the reason. And I don't play PS3 now, I'm more of an Xbox guy. I mean, I don't even know where I'm going with PS4 and Xbox One, really, so... You know, um... But yeah, the Metal Gear Solid 4, I remember just looking at the graphics and the loading, the actual installation screen where he's just smoking a cigarette. I pretty much weed my pants when I saw that, and I just was just like... Buy it. Don't care, I'm buying it. And I just went nuts, I had to have one. Uh, it's just an overglorified, um, you know, DVD player now and Blu-ray player. I don't use it for much else, which is a bit sad. But it, it plays Blu-rays and DVDs like it's, you know, really good. Well, it was one of the big fat ones, so yeah. Um, I've kind of answered these quick, mate. So sorry, I apologise. If you could turn back the clock and make any now obsolete defunct computer become successful, which computer system would you now have on your desk? Hmm. I'd like to say the Philips CDI. I would have loved to have seen what they could have done with that to make it better. Because it's, it's, it, I don't know why. I just would love to have seen what they could have done with it properly. Uh, the Atari Jaguar, if they'd actually done the Panther and the Jaguar and they'd actually set out to do it properly, those were two that I would have liked to have seen do a bit better. And if we're talking really retro, I would have liked to have seen the Atari ST. It's all Atari stuff. It is for me, like the Atari ST. Atari seemed to have these consoles that never really did well, and I wanted to see more out of them. Um, so yeah, I think it would have been the Jaguar and a Panther if it ever happened. Uh, the Philips CDI, because I know it had, it was bollocks, I know it was, but 
I would have liked to have seen them actually do something sensible with it if they could have rewrite history. Um, and the ST, I would have liked to see more of the ST if they'd done more with it. If they hadn't gone down the cartridge route and they'd actually stuck to the guns and done the Jaguar CD properly. Properly, I'll add, I'll add to that. Um, but yeah, that's it. That is pretty much it. So um, go check out Big G from S8. It was a bit of a quick video. And um, yeah, uh, I got nothing funny to hold up. So uh, da, 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 da. sponsored by Road Trip Adventure. It moved the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>